Well, I nearly forgot myself actually. What I should be thinking about doing now is uh, adjusting the X table to get centered on these holes here and here. Because now that we've done a concentric channel, we also want to make um, the holes also, um, I'm not sure what the word would be, but of course this channel has a definite center in the middle now, and even if it isn't that point there, which I've drawn on my other marks from, um, it, this will still have a definite center. And of course we want to do all these holes at the same distance away from that center. So I can't undo the plate just yet. I'll have to drill these holes first. Um, so, yeah. Better go on with doing it. And I think, whilst I've got the collet holder in there, I might as well use that to drill the holes. And uh, the first job it's got to do is hold the center drill. Uh, I do have a small one somewhere, I'm not quite sure where I put it, I'll have to look for that. Um, come to think of it, I think I do know where it is. I think I've got a, a set of them here. Let's have a look. Come on, out you come. Oh, I've got one. So, the other two are missing, all broken. So I'll use this one to do some centre drilling and put that one away because it's a bit big. So, uh, should be well on our way. So I think I better change that collar because that's an eight and that looks like I'm not really sure what it says on there. Hmm. Well, it looks to me about six mil, so I'll have to change that. So undo that. Other way, dipstick. Uh, again, two stages to undo in these. Of course, it's less bulk as well. These, the drill would I mean I had to wind the table down and all manner of trouble. So, hopefully. We finish with this. But I'll put it there just in case. Next is the collet. Pretty sure it'll be the six mil variety. Let's have a try. Six mil collet. No, oh, no, it's not. Oh, I'll the next one up there, won't it? Ah. Looks like it's maybe a quarter inch because this will be seven millimeters before you tighten it. It's not quite tight, but it wouldn't fit in the six, so oh well. Now we know. <sighs> so we'll put that up there. And give that a bit of a tighten. fall out until I tighten this up, so it's not bad on 7mm, must be a quarter of an inch. I have to tighten it a couple of turns. It's not dropping now. Well, I'm not going to put you through having to watch while I advance the table round as I drill all these holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them. Okay, well, what has taken more than an hour to really do is to uh, finish all these holes. So we've now got the inside holes all to 14 millimeters and the outside ones to 12. Uh, we've got the one in the middle to go and finish, but what we can at least do is take the plate off and see if these holes 
will fit the motor mounting because really because they've been on a rotary table and they've been divided up into exactly 90 degrees they should fit on like anything uh, they are 12 mil so they are right diameter for the motor mounting uh, and unlike last time when I made one uh, where I just centre drilled some marks and just used an electric drill to go through uh, which is pretty random as to how straight the hole would be I think I ended up having to drill those out to about 13 mil, 13 and a half, so it's fairly inaccurate. This plate should be spot on. Um, the holes look to be going exactly on line uh, with those rings, so I'm very pleased with the outcome. Uh, it all becomes very easy when you've got this Bridgeport thing, but uh, it's always nice to see if it's worked out or not. So I'm going to go and set up underneath the lathe and put the little bolts back in where they should be and see if this um, will fit. We don't have to t worry uh, at all now about uh, being able to put this back in the centre um, because um, the hole that gets cut out in the centre of this is really only to make sure that the motor shaft uh, doesn't hit this and can get through it for one thing. And uh, that doesn't have to be absolutely spot on. Uh, we can just make that a good bit bigger than diameter. So even if it is slightly off, it's it's fine. I'll end up doing it in the uh, bridge pole because it just offers tremendous power, other than you know doing a drill on the hole saw. Um, the other uh, milling operation, of course, is to do something like this on the other side of this plate, on the outside, and. Um, that's going to be a good bit more involved is that uh, and I think I may have to drill a hole through here to um, make the other side concentric with this one uh, some kind of measurement or a through transfer uh, of dimensions so that's the next thing I'll have to do um, so I'm going to get on with it Right, well, we're back underneath the lathe and I've put these bolts back in. Really, the only thing now to do is to see if the plate fits. Uh, I swear I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's still on the rotary turntable. I've undone the nuts. Just have to take it off the table and transfer it here and see if it fits. It's, I'm quite nervous, so wish me luck. Ah. First time the table, the uh, plate has been off the table now. Ah, Okie dokie. This will be a testament to how good rotary tables are for this type of job. You'd think they'd be perfect. Wish me luck. Something not quite right. Three of them want to go, but the fourth one is not not plain. Oh no, actually, it's pretty bloody close. We've got all four in there now. I think we've got one just not behaving somewhere. So not a complete success. Rotate it, see if that works. I have a bent motor bolt, of course. And these holes are exactly 12mm. And if one of those bolts is ever so slightly out, it's not going to play, is it? Oh, crumbs. I don't quite know which one it'll be. I'll have to see if it might be that one. I'll just take that out for the second. If the plate goes on now, at least three of them are okay. Uh, no, nope, it still doesn't want to know. Huh. Well, after all that. No, nope. not going to play it. Oh well. 
Might have to possibly de deburr these, that might help things. Uh, uh, oh well. You can't have everything. Let's so, get to the bottom of this, hopefully. Well, I imagine that uh, one problem may have been that uh, they may have needed deburring on the back of here. Uh, and the next thing is, that even though they've been drilled to 12 and these are 12mm bolts, and uh, they're not half inch, that would be uh, a dead giveaway that they wouldn't fit properly, but it's, everything's metric, it's a European lathe, I think it's French. So we've got the fact that the 12mm goes through there, but the, the thread is slightly less than 12 but this little shank here that they haven't cut into, that is bang on 12, and this, if this was a perfect hole, it would go straight through. So what I'm actually guessing is that even though I've drilled these holes with a 12mm drill, they'll actually need reaming to clean them up because there's uh, very likely a few score marks in there. So uh, I don't actually have uh, a 12mm reamer. Um, I may have to resort to using one of those awful adjustable ones uh, just to clean the uh, hole up, not to make it any larger or anything like that. Uh, I have to be very careful I don't make it any larger, although it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I think I have to clean these holes up a little bit and give that a try. Well. Uh, I decided to get my adjustable reamer. I'm quite surprised I found it actually. Um, and I've set it to exactly 12mm. So that's the third hole down this one because I don't think you'll be able to see the print. Uh, and it just nicely fits through. Uh, you, if it was any bigger it would never get through. So yeah, it's been 12mm. Once it's been reamed out, um, I don't think it fits still, but it's it's a good bit better than it was. Uh, let's see. We've got three here that are almost through. But one here that's slightly out. Um, sometimes it pays to rotate these things to make sure. See, we've almost got four through there. So, I think it's going to be a case for just doing a quarter of a turn of these two nuts at a time to make it go further back and ream each one until we get it to fit and that's the minimum amount we need to adjust each hole by then it may be that it's only just one hole that's been a bit of a pain but we may as well do all four so I think we're on the road to success well, here we are the next day, and I've reamed these holes out a little bit, and the plate fits on at least three of the bolts now. I've got this one missing, this is slightly out. Uh, all I can think of, seeing as I used the rotary table and it was pretty accurate, was that the bolts are perfectly alright on the motor mounted, but I may have drilled these holes slightly too wide. Uh, a radius, so if they're all a little bit further out than they should be it's going to throw things off quite a bit but it's not the most important thing the most important thing is that I do have this spigot here and no matter what happens with these bolt holes that uh, must be made to be, if I can get this off must be made to be concentric with the part that I channel out around the edge to allow the plate to fit inside this recess here. Um, that is the absolutely the most important part. If I was to mess around with these bolt holes just to get them to fit, it may throw this um, spigot off slightly from centre. 
So when I came to actually uh, mill the edges on this side to allow uh, some of it to protrude to fit into this one to centre the plate truly um, the motor would be off as well and it would be very difficult for it to turn it and wear itself out in next to no time so I'm not too fussed that these holes aren't uh, a good fit just yet uh, it's this that dictates where the motor will go and that has to be made perfect with the one on the back that I'll do today uh, we've already got holes here which complicates things slightly um, but I only have to make this channel um, I can't remember how thick it was meant to be now all my marks of uh, and numbers have rubbed off but I know this was just over 9 inches which I think is something like 235 mil uh, which I think will be about another 10 millimeters further out than the edge of these or the center of these holes something like that and then we mill that away so there's not a great deal to mill away it's about maybe an inch or so all the way around but of course it's not on this side it's on this side um, I don't know whether I have to lop this bit off to stop it from ringing or causing problems it might be just the easiest thing to leave it there but I think what I'm going to have to do to get this side and that side communicated to each other is just drill this a tiny small hole in here and put a little uh, spigot or pin or small hole that I drill through there put a, a little spigot through and uh, put a centering mark uh, on the, the end of each side uh, and then we can transfer one side to the other that's going to make more sense as I do it uh, so I better get on with that 